Hey guys, so it's been a little while since I checked in with Piano Book, and just yesterday I had a little bit of spare time, uh, so I logged in and downloaded uh, a handful of gems that I used in this track here that I want to show you. I really got to give huge props uh, to all the samplists uh, out there doing their thing. Uh, it's incredibly inspiring. I'm sure that a lot of you watching right now have probably already heard of Piano Book, or maybe you've uh, downloaded some of the sample packs that they have there, but uh, this is basically an online community uh, if you've never heard of it. Um, and it's a, it's a community of samplists and composers. Uh, anyone can submit and share their work with that community, and it's all free. Uh, which is amazing and insane because I definitely pay money for some of this stuff. You do need the full version of Contact to load uh, these if you are a Contact user, uh, so that is one thing to be aware of. Uh, many of the instruments or the sample packs are available for ESX24, uh, Sforzando, and Decent Sampler also. But regardless, if you haven't checked out Piano Book, I highly recommend bookmarking this site and just browsing through some of the incredible uh, instruments and the selection that they have. There's, I think there's more than 600 packs there right now. It's just crazy. So in this video, I'll do my best to uh, pay tribute to some of my personal favorites. So let's check it out. I thought it would be a fun challenge uh, for myself just to, you know, to write a cue uh, using only piano book stuff. So I threw in some uh, free time lapse video uh, just to help with the, you know, the visual inspiration. So I'll throw that up there for you guys. It's only about a minute and a half long. Uh, so I'll just go ahead and play it and uh, then I'll chat about the instruments afterwards. Okay, so there you have it. Let me talk about uh, some of these instruments. Okay, right at the top here, uh, this Micah's Choir um, library, I think really kind of sealed the deal for the whole track. It really brought it to life. This is really the, the like the secret sauce of this track. I think it has to be like my number one favorite sample pack that I found on uh, Piano Book. It just sounds amazing. Just super expressive. Definitely going to be reaching for this again in other projects. Um, yeah, so cool. I have a really interesting kind of backstory here uh, on the webpage uh, about the choir and the inspiration for recording it. I'm honestly surprised that this, the sound rating didn't get five stars because it just sounds so good to me. I, I love it. So yeah, big shout out to Micah for uh, lending your incredible voice uh, to this track. Uh, I'm really happy to have this library. I'm definitely going to reach for it again in uh, future projects. Okay, below that is the Harmonic Flights. And this is also just super cool textural library. I love the sound of this. So I believe that this is actually harmonic bowing on a stand-up bass. Let me pull up the, uh, the profile here. So yeah, high harmonics from a double bass pitch shifted and processed. So there's a lot going on there. Uh, super cool sounding library. Big shout out to Sage Reynolds for that one. It was a great addition to this track and it's really playable. I love it. Okay, moving on. These cello swells, viola and violin swells and the brass accents all came from uh, one library. And these are all from Dan Keen's um, NFO Orchestral Swells. Uh, library really beautifully recorded uh, the NFO stands for the Northern Film Orchestra big shout out to Dan 
uh, for that. They sound amazing. Let me just pull these up here for a sec. So this is what these cello swells sound like. And then these viola and violin swells are the same idea, also sound amazing. I have those going through a bit of reverb and these brass accents made for really nice sounding pads. Also have those going through a bit of reverb. Okay, this zither added a ton of character to this track. And this came from uh, Mr. Sam Ekoff. I hope I'm pronouncing your last name right. Uh, big shout out to Sam for this one. I thought it sounded really, really cool. It's called the Leftist Zither Marxophone. A restored Marxophone sampled dry and through a variety of uh, different pedals. So there was a lot of different patches uh, in this one. Uh, it was quite a big library actually, but uh, the one I went with sounded like this. I have that going through a bit of processing. Um, I'm putting it through some reverb as, as well as uh, the pan man. So it's going back and forth in the stereo field a little bit. And it's just adding a little bit of nice texture uh, to the track. Okay, this Arctic pad has got to be one of my favorites too. I just love the way this sounds. Super warm and analog. Sounds kind of like an organ. The Arctic pad uh, came from uh, Enzala. So thank you, Enzala, for this, uh, this beautiful sounding pad. Hardware synth patches uh, pass through cassette tape. Um, very, very cool. Definitely going to use this again in future projects. Also sounds really nice if you use it up in the high registers here. Awesome. Okay, the bass drum, the toms, and the snare all came from one pack. These were all from a uh, Hunter's Orchestral Percussion Pack. Snares, toms, bass drum, uh, chimes, deeply sampled with three mic positions. And these sounded absolutely fantastic. Let me just solo these for you. So here's the percussion on its own. These really help to augment this sort of climactic uh, section of the track here. Just really simple. It's all I needed to kind of inject a little bit of energy. And lastly, we have the Gaffer Piano. And this one is from uh, the uh, piano book founder himself, Mr. Christian Henson of Spitfire Audio. And this one has a cool backstory behind it. Uh, it's from his uh, trusty and ever so slightly abused uh, Schimmel upright with Gaffer tape, also known as duct tape, all over the strings. I thought it sounded really, really cool. And uh, it had this kind of like punchy, uh, sort of playful tone to it that I thought suited this track really nicely. Just listening to this again. So a lot of nice detail in the mix there. You can kind of hear like the mechanics of the, of the piano um, working in the background there. So yeah, really interesting sound there. Definitely going to use the gaffer on other projects. Uh, so thanks for that, Christian. And uh, yeah, thanks for Piano Book. What a, an amazing resource for composers. So anyway, I hope that was interesting. I just wanted to share that with you guys. Uh, I got really excited <laughs> about this track. And uh, yeah, it was just a really fun little project to work on yesterday. So I'll leave it at that for today. Uh, thanks so much for watching. If you haven't already, please be sure to check out the Production Music Academy. Uh, if you're interested in leveling up the quality of your music productions, uh, you'll get access to all the exclusive live composing streams that I do, uh, production tips, uh, community feedback on your work, monthly MIDI packs, um, and the latest information on music libraries and much more. 
Oh, and of course, all my uh, music production courses are available there as well. All those links are below. Go check them out. Let me know what you thought of the video in the comments below. Uh, always great to hear from you guys. And if you enjoyed it, feel free to smash the old like button and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye.